is Bitcoin breaking out? Should you be buying loads of Bitcoin or should you be buying XRP? Or could this be a fake breakout and we're heading lower? Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here, back with another technical analysis video. So guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP and Tron. So guys, let's start with Bitcoin. Lots of people on Twitter and on social media are saying Bitcoin is breaking out, buy more, it's going to go to the moon and, and all, all sorts of things people are saying. But if you look at the longer term thing guys, Bitcoin has not really broken out, it's still in a channel. Yes, it is looking like it's going to break out, but it's not really broken out and, and you could you could have bought some uh, to to think in the expect tech, so you don't anti, I call it not anti FOMO position. So you can have an anti FOMO position in. So if it does break out, you have got some skin in the game. But the Bitcoin hasn't broken out. If it breaks above 680, then yes, I'll look to buy some. But below that, guys, I'm not sure whether you should be going all in because we're still in this wedge. We could go up or we could go low. So this is a longer term, guys. So it's not really told us anything. The moving average are quite flat. Uh, they're not moving out of each other. I was thinking this week or next week we were going to have a breakout. I'm still saying that. But Bitcoin, in a sense, has broken out. If you zoom in, guys, you could see that um, it, it went upwards. So you can see that movement that it did go up. It broke kind of this channel that we were looking at in my previous videos, guys. And um, yeah, and in Ethereum, you'd see it's a lot clearer. And it kind of broke up. People were expecting it to go higher and higher. Um, and saying that oh, it's going to go to 7,000 but we've got a lot of resistance above us as well so si the 618 level if you watch my previous videos I've, uh, I've been doing a lot of technical analysis videos uh, a key level that Bitcoin stopped in this previous high is the 618 level of from the high the 618 level from the previous high is um, at 690 6,900 so that could be a resistance guys once we break out of this and a lot of people are talking about shorting it around 6,900 so that's another play that can happen another thing that people are talking about is that it's just a false breakout and we're gonna break low so that those are the two possibilities again I'm not just saying it's gonna go up or down I'm trying to make a case of what's gonna happen so yeah, on my Twitter uh, Twitter guys I've been talking about how I'm playing it so when there's a breakout previously if you look at last year's breakout when breakouts usually happen we see massive upward movements uh, on this breakout we haven't and that's slightly worrying when you don't see breakouts you're thinking why isn't it breaking out are the bulls not there people not people do people not think it can go up or are people thinking that it's gonna go down wait for it to go down form a bottom and then we'll go up so that is a worry so I have got gone into an anti formal position but I'm not gonna go all in just yet and there is a lot of things that can happen a lot of people on Twitter are talking about it as well there are some shorter time trades that you can do but longer term not much has changed and if it does break out we have to get above this 50 moving average on the daily uh, that is a key level on the shorter time frame guys you could look to uh, play some trades uh, some shorter time trades so I uh, like I said I went into an anti formal position um, and I'm slightly up but it's nothing uh, too major and we still are not above even this this high that we set we still not gone above it and then we're going down one level that I am looking at now is a 618 level uh, where we're stopping kind of so six yet yeah, as you can see guys on the last move up from a couple of days ago we're stopping at the 618 level and there's a tw uh, 50 moving average as well so yeah potentially uh, sorry the, uh, the yeah the 50 moving average so potentially we could see an upward move if it breaks below this guys then like i've said you might want to the the odds would favor the bears and it could actually break and head towards the lower end of this wedge so this is what i'm looking at for bitcoin guys ethereum is a lot more clearer so we had a clear very small breakout the breakout again didn't get much volume you think after such a massive low when the breakout happens we'll get massive bull volume and that's not been the case at all we broke out and not much we've not seen that much follow through the volume is dying out which is not good and we're below the uh, 50 moving average and obviously miles away from the 200 moving average and now guys we're making this triangle and again as you can see we're kind of trying to break out in the 
past two days previously we broke down this channel now we're trying to break out and kind of moving above this channel but it's not looking great guys and then if we can't go get above this 50 moving average soon then it might then again the bears might have the upper hand and as you can see we're just below the 618 level as well so that's what's ethereum doing litecoin guys i was slightly more hopeful on litecoin but again it's not really giving us as much as i was, would have liked last time it formed like a parallel channel it broke down a similar sort of channel it formed before so you can call it a bear flag it's not really a bear flag but as you can see it broke down this channel um and now it's retesting it and a lot of people i know when when it breaks out of a trend line and then it retests it uh, people tend to short it and think it will go down could it happen on litecoin that's definitely a possibility but could we have a massive volume the bullish crossover of the moving average and then go higher that's a possibility as well but right now guys um it's not looking great and if you look at the we've got the moving it's from from the from the high below we're below the 618 so again 618 is going to be a resistance and a uh, we're not really sure how it's going to play out and another way to look at it is this move up that we've had um, it, the 50 the 50 fib level matches with the 318 so we could have some confidence so getting above this is going to be difficult and then few people are talking about an ABC correction and if it is an ABC correction we should see some higher up here before we break down and Ethereum guys that that was the thing as well we need to see at least I think we'll get another leg higher uh, with Bitcoin and Ethereum if I if I, I think so again this is not financial advice guys do your own research um, I'm not saying it's, we're going to break out, but I think we're going to get another leg higher on on these coins. XRP, guys, is the only coin that we were thinking slightly bullish because, as you can see, it had a massive, massive breakout. It went up two or three times, um, and it was above the 200 moving average, which is a big deal. If it's above the 200 moving average, it's bullish. You can say it's in an uptrend, um, but it couldn't hold above this. It's broken down now, and it's, it's trying to stay above the 20 and 50 moving average. So it is at a key level now. Again, from this kind of triangle, it's just moving sideways, guys. They're not really breaking out. It's just moving sideways, and uh, it's at the 618 FIB level, which is a key level. So hopefully we can use this uh, moving average as a support and move up but we'll have to see how that plays out again on the shorter time frame you could look to see it look to play some breakouts but on the longer time frame it's not looking great and if you if we think that it's an abc correction um the 618 level is slightly lower so we need to be maybe if we can drop down this level the 40 cents level we could get another uh, move up and let's see if that uh, if that it has any confluence with the 786 so yes it's got the 786 level as well so maybe around that level guys there's a moving average as well so it can drop to run there and then move up uh, but yes again we'll have to see how that plays out but ripple xrp um is looking a bit more stronger than the other coins in the longer time frame in the shorter time frame it's had the most bearish action uh, tron guys people are calling it a head and shoulder it didn't really look like a head and shoulder but people were saying, oh, could this be head and shoulder? And Tron had a massive uptrend uh, compared to the other coins. It had the most uptrend. Uh, but currently, guys, it's not looking great. Uh, as you can see, it had a massive bull up. And when things move up so quickly, it drops down quicker. So that's what we're looking at for Tron. Uh, one thing to be aware of is, is it a um, ABC correction? And are we going to go lower? If you look at it like that, guys, um, that's the 50% uh, level, uh, FIB level from the highs and also the uh, one to one fib uh, abc correction so we could hit that level wh where we have and actually drop lower so that is a possibility so keep that in mind so for tron what i'm looking at is some consolidation the 236 level probably we're at now um if we can hold this level and move and break those 50 uh, break out of this previous highs in the 50 percent fib level then i see is going towards the 200 moving average so that's what we're looking at for tron in the longer time frames so if you want to buy a pullback you could maybe wait for a bit and see the first couple of green candles and get in and and on the shorter time frame try and get a better like a day trade and try and get a better entry but if you are in tron i wouldn't get out just yet and it I'll, I'll ever see how this plays out before 
I get out. So that's the quick technical analysis, guys. I mean, people usually seem to like my price prediction videos more than my technical analysis. So I've been doing a lot more of that. But whenever a big thing happens in the cryptocurrency market, I'll make sure that I keep you guys up to date with technical analysis because there are a lot of people that like it as well so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family because we as early adopters need to talk about bitcoin and blockchain to our friends and also guys follow me on twitter because it's a lot easier for, for me to keep you guys up to date with all the news so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel also guys i'm doing 250 dollars worth of xrp giveaway if you want to be in uh, in with the chance of doing that guys subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and leave your xrp address below so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much